Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Cody from Mr. 4 AM Builds, and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I turn this stack of construction lumber that's made for building houses into this sweet standing desk that I made for just $75 in lumber, and yes, I forgot to record this part. Let's get into it. Look at you, bunch of pine boards, got knots, bunch of sticks, made for building houses. It'll never be a piece of furniture, ever. Now that I have all my lumber for the legs cut down in roughly oversized, I'm gonna take it outside and do the milling process. I'm not gonna do the traditional joiner on both sides and then plan it and rip it down. I think all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it over the table saw, I'm just gonna rip down each side, just to square that up just a little bit so when you glue it together, it's nice and square. Um, and then I might run this side through the, through the joiner just to clean these up a little bit. That's why we're working in the garage today. Getting a little dust settler, a little bit going on out here. I'm gonna do the same process for the top as I did for the bottoms where I go through and cut these down. Uh, these are actually two by eights, so they're seven and a quarter, and I only need these to be about six inches. So I'm actually gonna go through and cut about three quarters off of each side. <laughs> We got all of our pieces and build down, which is the table saw. Let's throw a straight edge on it and see how well we did. For these just being two by fours and running them through the table saw, I'm extremely happy with how level they are. And I think for this project, when you're on a budget and a time crunch, it's a pretty good alternative. Down for the glue wall. I'm gonna glue all my leg pieces together now. Some of these still are a little bit gnarly because I didn't join them. So I'm just gonna make sure that those ugly faces go together. And then we're just gonna put each section together by itself. We're gonna set it in the clamps and just do one, uh, one massive glue up in one shot because I don't have enough clamps for everything. set up here, I'm gonna put the longer ones on and we're gonna glue those up as well. out of clamps I have decided that I am going to run it through the joiner just to clean up this line a little bit it is pretty even I think if you don't have a joiner you can easily just sand this down and make it smooth but I have it so I think I'm going to use it and I'll probably also run it through once or twice on each side here just to clean those ends up again not something that you have to do but if I have the tool I might as well use it pieces to my top milled down and properly sized. Now I'm going to take them over there 
and do my glue up on the floor. I would like to do it here, but I don't have a big enough surface and I want to continue to work on the legs. So sometimes you got to do with what you got. Now that I've got all my clamps on and my calls on, I'm gonna set the timer on my watch for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna scrape off that excess glue. You don't wanna to try to do it right now because it's just gonna to start to run everywhere and make a complete mess. So give it about a half hour, wait for it to sturdy up, and then you can come through with the putty knife and hopefully we can get the scrape all right off. 35 minutes later. Because I cut the pieces for the leg assembly a little oversized and then I ran them through the planer, it changed the thickness of everything. I'm gonna have to trim the legs up, which I knew I was gonna have to do it, but that's fine. Here, I'll bring you in and show you. As you can see here, this is just a little bit long, so I'll just trim this off. And then this has got a gap, so I'll just tr trim this off, which will tighten everything up. assembly is almost complete I've decided that I want to put a stretcher in uh, and I'm doing that for two reasons one is to obviously keep from racking back and forth and two is because when you're sitting down I think it's gonna be kind of nice to be able to stick out and put your feet on it so that's all I'm really gonna do is I'm just gonna draw some lines where I want it and then I'm just gonna sit on my cross cut, cut sled and I'm just gonna trench out the section that it's gonna go in With all my leg pieces cut down to final assembly, now I have this little backer board set in here so that I can use it as like a backstop. So I can push this against that. I'm gonna pre-drill. I'm gonna use some glue. I'm gonna screw it together. I'm gonna swap it out and do the same for the other side. With my top out of clamps, I'm gonna run a cheap lock plane across it to knock down all the high spots. I'm gonna use my DIY track saw to cut it down to size. I'm gonna use an eighth inch round over bit to soften all the edges. and I'm gonna sand it up through the grids. My costume has changed. My mood has changed. Time for paint. approved this summer oak not sure how long I've had it for cans pretty gnarly but that's okay we're gonna give it a shot
Instagram. I appreciate you watching me build a standing desk on a budget for under $100, $75 in materials, and I got the receipt to prove it. So I hope you enjoyed it or you learned something along the way. So in the meantime, get out there, buy cool tools, build cool stuff, and tell your friends about it. See you. Why, why can I say lumber? Lumber. Lumber. So I think I'm, Jesus, quit sniffing.